Kurt, how are you, mate? Good, mate, going well. What are you up to? Nah, just chilling at home, mate, not too much at all. Ah, uh, well, mate, I'm, I'm going to come around, check out your new pad, and we'll go get a coffee, eh? Sounds good, mate, I'll see you soon. See ya. I made it. Give us a tour of the, the new joint. And what uh, what actual suburb are we in? Airport West, mate. Airport you mean, West. You mean this far before? No, look, I don't usually go past Kensington. <laughs> it's my room. Lounge room. Get the feet up, watch your highlights on TV. <laughs> Not this year, mate. Kitchen, doing my best work in here. What's your best meal, mate? Oh, uh, stir fry. Stir fry? Chicken stir fry. You have to get me around for that. <laughs> Who's put these up here? Oh. Some serious bandwagon <laughs> on there. Yeah, that was me, mate. I've been following Jordan all the way through, mate. Come on. Were you even <laughs> were you even around when he was going, mate? Nah, I watched a few highlights, that's about it. Each their own. How long you been here for? A week. Just got the lawns mowed for you, mate. You did that, mate? No, nah, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kurt. Look, I've heard a lot about you during your footy career, mate. So is uh is a local ground, is that is that nearby? Can we go past there? It's just around the corner, mate. I, I thought you might ask that. So no, we'll go there, we'll grab a coffee what's on the that, way. What's that place called? Joe Brown Oval, mate, the Keeler Football Club. They haven't thought about the old sea tamer, <laughs> they haven't thought about changing well, that. Uh, not yet, mate, maybe soon. A few more games. A few more games. Go All mate, right, yeah. Let's go. New whip, mate. BT, mate. <laughs> Have you got coffee? Yeah, man. <laughs> Kicked a few goals on this ground. What's your biggest bag there? Nine. It's nine counting on the tens. <laughs> Jeez, the hair on the back of your neck just Little tingling, bit. just driving in. It does. Have you got a reserved park yeah. here? They've got it like a plaque. Oh, okay, we'll go on that one. Oh, there he is. Look, there's a photo in the corner of him. Do you guys know who this is? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's right here. Look at that truly. Come on. Come on. Yay! Yeah, that's the one there, mate. Needs a bit of a polish, though. This one. Might get on to him about. Bit of a polish, mate. We'll fix it up a little bit. Come on, mate. Alrighty, Kurt. What's the significance of this ground, mate? Yeah, pretty special over to me. I played right through all my junior years, right from under 10 to obviously before I got drafted. Did you always just want to be an AFL footballer? Yeah, oh, mate, I spent that much here. My Saturdays were watch under 18s, reserves, seniors. So right from when I was probably 11 years old, I wanted to be an AFL footballer and um, it was pretty special. And it was always something that was in my mind. And yeah, it's got a lot of significance behind it. Obviously the family connection as well. Yeah, so uncle. like I said, my uncle, um, lives across the road, he played about 350 games here. Nan and Pa literally are also across the road, so they got to watch a whole lot of our footy growing up, which was, was pretty special. So, um, Keeler's been a big part of my life. What's the highlight of your time at Keeler? Probably debuting um, out on this ground for my senior debut. I was only 16 years old at the time, and playing with some older men at the time was pretty daunting, but it was a pretty special moment having family, friends, watching me out on this ground, um, play senior footy, and then going to win the flag. So if you weren't playing footy, what do you reckon you'd be doing right now? I'd be playing out here for Keelor. Um, but now, what would I be doing? I've often thought about it. Um, might have gone to uni or, yeah, I honestly didn't think about it a whole lot because footy was just so, yeah. for me, um, people always said don't put all the eggs in one basket, but I was like, I'm putting them all in one basket, that's what I want to do. So, yeah. Um, yeah, luckily it worked out for me, otherwise I would have had no idea what I wanted to do. When you're not at the footy club, mate, what do you, what do, you do? What do you do with your spare time? Yeah, I've just got a dog. Little Coda keep me busy. Obviously, when I'm not at the club, I like to spend time around family, but um, friends as well. But then off season, got a place up in Echuca, so I do love to get up there and get some sun up there and, and get away from it all. Obviously, you've been at the club uh, for a few years now. Who are the guys that have made it easier for you? Well, obvious ones, yourself, mate. We've had a good connection since I got drafted, and um, you've really helped me with the, the way I've come. But yeah, early on, I think Zebes is a great captain from the start for us, uh, for me. Big Taz as well, he was always been good with me. I kind of knew those guys a little bit before coming into the club, so it made it a bit easier. I think that's the best thing about North, is there's no real segregated groups. I think anyone can hang out with anyone. I didn't tee that up as well, you know, just, <laughs> there's no sliding of $50 or anything. That was... Alrighty, Kurt, thanks for showing us your house, showing us where you grew up. 
we did a lot of your work out here at Keelor and um, also thanks for, for jumping in the BT50 with me. Not many people trust me behind the wheels. No worries, mate. Yeah, it was good to show you part of my life early on, but BT50, I trust you behind the wheel, mate. No worries, mate.